Coinbase is in the hot seat after the SEC accused and issued the crypto exchange a notice warning of potential violations of the U.S. securities law. Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith joins us now to answer the question, what do Soldier Boy, Lindsay Lohan, and Jake Paul all have in common? David. Well, so Brad, uh, you're pointing out that uh, uh, yesterday uh, Coinbase made this disclosure um, that the SEC had sent it a Wells notice letter. And obviously this come this came um, within a, an hour or so of, of uh, another action that the SEC had announced, which was um, against Justin Sun, um, the uh, founder of the cryptocurrency or blockchain network and, and token uh, Tron or TRX um, and uh, related promoters who had been promoting um, the cryptocurrency um, the SEC accused them of, of um, offering the sale of an unregistered security. Um, also, the promoters uh, for for being part of that, and 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 given the fact that um, they also pointed to to wash trading um, conducted by uh, TRX or the Tron Foundation for um, allegedly, uh, you know buying and selling uh, or trying to stimulate volume for the cryptocurrency. But this Wells notice uh, from Coin, Coinbase that, that Coinbase disclosed through a regulatory filing is kind of interesting in that it's a long time coming and there's a lot of context for this, um, given how many crypto cases we're looking at. The SEC has put down um, 11 uh, enforcements against crypto firms and individuals since the beginning of 2023. But, you know, what's striking about this notice, uh, Coinbase also put out a blog post and its CEO, Brian Armstrong, also um, posted a tweet thread um, that showed that the company was was fairly uh, confident about its position. Now, in the Wells notice, it's not exactly clear what the SEC is going after, but Coinbase said it believes um, any action the SEC might take uh, after following this Wells notice would be uh, specifically related to their to the crypto assets they listed on their platform. And this would include aspects of the exchange's spot market staking service and wallet services. Um, so th this would this would be like um, a probable uh, uh, injunctive relief, disgorgement and civil penalties if the SEC were to put out an enforcement action. Um, but the uh, Coinbase has been pretty, pretty adamant and, and clear that um, they would plan to fight any kind of uh, any kind of enforcement action in court. Um, see, uh, the chief uh, legal officer uh, echoing the CEO in this blog post uh, had said that uh, Coinbase is confident uh, of the legality and its and of its assets and services, and if needed, would welcome a legal process to provide further clarity to the crypto industry. And in his words, he said, the SEC simply has not been fair or reasonable when it comes to its engagement on crypt on digital assets. So there's a lot going on there, and it, but it sounds like Coinbase is pretty adamant about its position. Um, another story you're, you're following that also has implications for the broader crypto space, right? I think that's why Coinbase's story is interesting, not just because it has implications for Coinbase, but what's it going to mean for other crypto companies? Similar situation with Ripple. It's been rallying this week. It has its own legal battle with the SEC. That's been going on for a long time. And maybe it's is coming to a conclusion soon. Yeah, Julie, uh, there, there are a handful of lawsuits uh, between the SEC and crypto firms and the SEC in the U.S. has been um, very actively trying to take more regulation over the crypto space. Ripple's ongoing case uh, started in 2020, which sort of makes it the oldest of, of the cases we've been watching. And for years, the case's verdict has hinged, hinged on whether or not uh, certain cryptocurrencies, in this case, uh, the uh, Ripple's related token, the XRP token, would be classified as a security under the Howey test. Um, and the XRP token, as you pointed out, has um, rallied. And, uh, you know, the thing that I would point out to just looking at the court docket has been uh, Ripple uh, has posted another court case, um, the Voyager Digital's bankruptcy, in which um, the judge ruled in favor of a sale of the customer assets to Binance US. This was after Binance US, or this was after the SEC had objected to the sale. 
um, calling uh, Binance US or, or alleging that Binance US was um, an unregistered securities exchange. In that um, case, the judge in his verdict said uh, essentially that the SEC hadn't offered enough evidence to prove that this was true. So this is kind of what's been happening in a lot of these cases, um, including uh, Grayscales, which it's filed against the SEC and is currently also happening, is that the SEC has not been offering enough uh, burden of proof as to whether or not these crypto assets are securities. And so, you know, we're going to be we're going to continue to watch this. But I mean, I think the question here um, remains to be seen about uh, w which case is going to be the first to get a verdict and how much will that implicate the other the other ones. I mean, Coinbase is if Coinbase were to have a court case, this would obviously take up to years. Uh, Ripple, on the other hand, is set to conclude sometime this year, hopefully soon. We'll find out. All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, David.